All right, boys, welcome back to another video. Now, before we get stuck in, make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a like, and make sure you head to the description to check out my Discord server. So we're going to kick off this uh, Game Pass review by um, showing you guys the skins you get for buying the Dread Pirate and the VIP. VIP is probably one of my favorite skins that you get uh, by getting Game Pass because of how dark it is and how good it looks. I mean, like, it's got gold rims and everything. And you also get the... Uh, on the right side of my body, you can see I've got the new pistol hilt, I think it's called. Whatever that little pocket on my right is called. The thing with the four bolts. I forgot what it's called. Um, but that also looks really good with the gold and the black. Yeah, so you get a whole bunch of exclusive clothing with that. And then the uh, dread part looks a little bit more ridiculous. I'll just go over there. Yeah, there's no real... Um, other exclusive uh, suits. Yeah, so there's Dread Pirate. Looks a bit ridiculous in my opinion. But with the Dread Pirate comes the Golden Dragoon Pistol. And I think that is a very, very nice gun. Actually, I think it's the, the other one that you get with the Dread Pirate. But I'm not sure. I keep forgetting. Which probably isn't the best for a Game Pass review. I should know what I'm reviewing. Anyway, both of the skins are pretty good for what you paid for. Um, I do like the eye patch though. Eye patch is a good touch. I just kind of wish that you could um, spin the character yourself. Oh, chunky boy. And uh, yeah, so that's what the skins look like. Now I'm going to go and show you guys what the Doctor does. So with the Doctor Game Pass, you get two abilities. One is to heal people, and it's like from one health to 100 health in something like five seconds. It's ridiculous. Um, and then you also have a stamina bottle, which is what I call it, but I think it's called antibiotics. And when you give it to someone, it gives them pretty much unlimited stamina for a certain time period. People can also come up to you to buy bandages, which have the same effect as if you healed them. And they're like... You get 30 bucks, but I think they pay 50 or something. I, for I forget. <laughs> yeah, so you get a little notification down the bottom there. So when you're in first person mode, you can't really click it. Yeah, so you should get money for that. See, 30 bucks. <laughs> Some people like to buy a lot of um, bandages. I had one guy who bought like 10 from me at one time. His inventory must be pretty full. Good thing is, if you change servers, it still stays there. Yeah, so I might run around, see if anyone needs healing to show you guys how quick it is. Can't really show you the stamina boost though, because, well, I've had it done to me, but I didn't record it. And the reason why there's no sound in this video for the gameplay is because I actually recorded with my mic on, and so you'd be hearing all the typing on my keyboard and my sniffing and yeah, so not really, not really the best, but when we do get up to the gun bit, I will unmute it for that so you guys can hear what the new guns sound like. Obviously, the Golden Dragoon will sound like the normal Dragoon pistol, but yeah, they're both, uh, both pretty cool. Yeah, so there's no limit to how many you can buy. It's only limited by your inventory space. Unprotected, so I didn't need to worry about that TNT. Doesn't have any effect on you. I think it's ridiculous. Like, if it's TNT, you should be thrown or thrown back and then take fall damage, but no damage from the initial blast. I reckon that should be how it goes. Because some people, when you're sniping on that big rock, like that tube rock, uh, right next to the town, it's like... Um, they come up to you with shield on and then grab out a weapon straight away and just whip you to pieces. So if you were able to use TNT to throw them back, it'll be quite useful. So yeah, uh, healing does actually have a time to heal the person. Like when you go up to them, there's a wheel that you have to hold down E. Um, um, in my opinion, it should be instant. Like you just tap them and then they get healed. But I guess because it's like a role-playing game, there would be time to like wrap the person up. I guess is what they. <laughs> I guess that's what they're getting at. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so, um... They're just respecting the roleplay, I guess. Oh, and those, uh, toilets, like those outhouses, so useless. Because people can still shoot you through them. Like, you think you're protected, but people know you're in there and people can still shoot you. What's the point in going in them? Alright, so now I'm going to show you a feature of the mayor. Because the mayor... The mayor... Because the mayor has so many different uh, abilities, um, I'm just going to go through a few of them at a time. <coughs> so when, when a sheriff and only a sheriff arrests someone, you can hold a trial for them. Um, if they get killed during the arrest, you still can't. Um, yeah, so this guy was a guy called Mayor, Assa mayor Assassin. And uh, he was trying to kill me pretty much the entire time I was trying to record. So, uh, I said he was guilty. And, uh, yeah. So then he'll go to prison and I think it's extended. Like, you get more time on top of what you would have gotten for the crimes that you committed. So you can see the crimes on the right and then you can click what you want them to be on the other side. But there is a time limit. I think you get 100 seconds or 90 seconds for a trial. Yeah, after the 90 seconds, there's really no, um... After 90 seconds, that's about it. It just kicks you out. And then that guy probably just goes to jail anyway. Or just gets set free because pretty much 90 seconds is like the biggest waste of time. If I was, if I had a trial for me, like for doing crimes, I would probably just leave the game because some people just take way too long and then leaving and rejoining would be faster. <laughs> All right. So uh, now this is the gun part and I'm just gonna show you guys the pistols. So this is the, um, Damn, I keep forgetting what the name of it is. It's it's a golden weapon, I know that. But it's just like the uh, harmonica rifle, except with 10 bullets and does 20 damage a bullet. Pretty crazy um, and pretty accurate as well. Great for people that are running away just like this, because it's, you've got 10 bullets, quite likely you're going to tag them. And even 20 damage can make quite an impact. That's a fifth of their health. So yeah, quite a fun toy, that gun. I really enjoyed playing with that. Um, really good for uh, when people are robbing the bank just to get a whole bunch of damage out and I think yeah that guy must be wanted alright let's go over there oh, he's probably turned himself in I hate those people who like when they're really low on health just decide to turn themselves in it's probably my biggest pet peeve on this game. People who just turn themselves in when they're about to die. And yeah, my aim is pretty sloppy. <clears throat> Especially with this kind of gun. But yeah, because it's like the harmonica, you can aim pretty well with it. And people are so dumb because if you spawn a horse, I just know where to aim my scope or aim my gun uh, in preparation for them getting on the horse. Because it's like, um, you just aim for where the head would be on the horse. And then you can just like deal even more damage. I think it's like 30 damage or 40 damage a bullet when you get headshots with this gun. Pretty insane. <laughs> yeah, so he's got it too. Because <clears throat> he's VIP. So this was, yeah, yeah, Dread Pirate gets the Dragoon. And then the uh, VIP gets this one. Quite a fun little toy. Quite a fun little toy. Do like it. Um, not sure that I find that uh, the you'd have to pay for pay that much Robux for a game pass like that. You can buy all the game passes for Wild West for just two thousand dollars. The most expensive game pass being the Mayor. Uh, that's six hundred. Everything else is around 400, 300 Robux. So yeah, pretty much like jailbreak prices because I remember only having to pay something like two thousand Robux to get all the jailbreak ones. Unless they've gone up now. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's that gun. Um, when I'm wanted, I like to go up here because you can, like, it's sometimes it can be tricky for you to get through that little gap. I might take out this kid. He's wanted. Yeah, so headshot damage confirmed. Did you see that massive jump in, in uh, health? That's like 40 damage, that shot. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So that's like a total damage output of something like um, 400, pretty ridiculous. Yeah, so um, this is the name changing game pass. 
able to change your name. About a, I think it's a hundred Robux, and you can change it to anything as long as it's uh, safe for work, like SFW. Yeah. So I like to change it to funny things, so then when you kill someone in the chat, it can say, "Your mum collected this guy's dead bounty," but because the 1700s, I say, "Your mother." Your mother. So here's the Dragoon. Pretty pretty crazy gun. It's a two two hit kill, but because my aim's a bit sloppy. Yeah. I hate these stairs, because when you're lying down on them, like when you get knocked down. Oh the reload as well. Reload is a disadvantage, but yeah. High damage for a gun. Just a two hit kill, pretty crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Oof, that's some big damage. Probably using the Oh, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy boy. That's what I thought, buddy boy. Yeah, great for chasing down people running away. But to be honest, I'll probably use the uh, Dragoon, Normal Dragoon and Golden Dragoon together. Because then it's like some crazy turtle damage output. Yeah, so asking for protection, you have to do outside a safe zone. Because if you're in a safe zone, you don't really need protection. So I'm going to go ring the bell because... Like, the only reason I bought this Game Pass is so I could ring the bell. So here's the, here's the gavel. You just whack this little wooden hexagon as many times as you like. You can look around while whacking it. I paid 600 Robux for this Game Pass. Flippin' heck. That's something like uh, 8 AUD or something like seven, 6 or 7 USD just, for, just to whack this... Uh, little piece of wood anyway let's go upstairs again and ring the bell in a sec after I blast all these windows it's another good thing this gun's fast fire so you can just keep blasting window after window after window I like to use this for when I'm sniping through windows because then I can just break all the glass before doing it and ring the bell You can also pardons people, pardon people's um, bounties, as long as it's below 150, I think it is. I think that's the rule. So I think it's like one per time period because you can't just like pardon so many. Like I've tried, but this doesn't work. And they're all below 150. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so the time limit's at the top of that little board. So it's like 90 seconds, 80, 90 seconds between each pardoning. <laughs> pardoning just means that their bounty's taken away and they're just like a normal person again. You know what my favorite sound in the entire game is? When you jump from the high balcony and land on the second, like on the lower balcony. That's like my favorite sound because it makes like a <clears throat> Sound. I don't know if you guys can relate. Like, I don't know if you've tried it, but it's like the most satisfying sound I've ever heard. It's like uh, two planks of wood whacking up against each other. <laughs> so now I'm going to go outside this town into a non-safe zone, and I'm going to blow the whistle so you guys can see what happens when you blow the whistle. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you don't have to go very far. So uh, I'm going to blow the whistle pretty much straight away. and everyone should come running for my protection. So it'll tell you all the people that are coming to protect you. 
Yeah. Um, in my opinion, asking for protection is actually more dangerous for you because people will just come up to you, press peace, and then they're on aggressive mode. Or, um, what's the word for that? Starting with P. Like, it's the opposite of friendly. And they'll just, like, kill you straight away. I actually think it's this guy who kills me. Can't remember. But someone just absolutely nails me, but I don't think I show it on screen. Yeah, so they actually get money for protecting you. If they didn't, I don't think they'd even bother coming. I think it's like $200, $100 or $200. Not that much, but if it's this close to home, it's pretty worth it. 300 bucks. I mean, free 100 bucks. Some people say three free, but anyway. Most of the time, I don't even need protection because as a mayor, as a mayor, um, and my gun skills, um, I can defend myself pretty well. Some people have asked me before if they can be my bodyguard, but I don't really need it. Ooh, we got someone coming up. Oh, he's a good guy. Alright, so that's, this is uh, pretty much it. You just get protection. Uh, I actually should have recorded this in Callahan Manor. I think you guys would have enjoyed that more. So I need a... Okay, next next Wild West video, I'm going to explore Callahan Manor, Manor. And yeah. So Wild West has now gone on my leaderboard of my most favorite games to number one rather than number two. This uh, Jailbreak. I've just been playing it for so long. It's just been getting a bit boring. And this game always keeps you on your toes. This Wild West always like keeps your heart rate going, because um, uh, you'd never know when you could just get shot from anywhere. Like it's just there's so much there's bullets flying every second. There's never a pause in bullets. There's always somewhere where someone's shooting. Another great pro tip for Wild West: make go to go to a horse stable, make your horses all small, and you can use them as meat shields, like things to hide behind when you're in when you're in the open, because they'll come to you when you call them, so you can just hide behind them straight away. Also, pretty good uh, buffalo protection, gotta say. I've tried it; they actually try and go around the horse rather than through the horse, so you can use that to slow them down. So uh, now I'm going to be a hitman. <laughs> so as the name suggests, I'm a man that hits. Uh, pretty much I kill people for money. Uh, depending on the person, I can have a bounty on me uh, just for killing them. Like if, they, if they're if they a person of authority, like a sheriff or a mayor, or a mayor it uh, costs extra and for the person and will give a bounty for me. Yeah, so that's actually insane, that Dragoon Pistol. Absolutely insane. So I've got a, I've got a target. Um, I'm only get a hundred bucks for it. I guess uh, only people who don't know how to money grind or haven't seen my money grinding videos yet. Oh! Two hit kill. That's like that was something like 70 damage for a headshot from my Winchester. Holy! All right, so I'm gonna grab a horse and I'm gonna head over to where they are. There's no marker in front of you, like as if someone's just robbed a bank or if uh, you're tracking down a wanted person. It's they just tell you where the last location was. Also, if you're being hunted, it'll have a message that says you're being hunted. So they're probably gonna hide. I can't remember if I even find this person, but yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty awkward if you just decide to do the old walk up to them, try and make friends trick. Like you say, oh, I'm not actually going to kill you. And then you absolutely nail them in the face with like multiple rounds of your Dragoon pistol. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> so the other tactic is just to try snipe them. I'm probably not the best sniper because this game has so many kids who just like to run around randomly shooting people. So yeah. Thank you, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.